You're watching Let's Chat. There is always a hub of activity going on at the Children's Hospital at Erlanger and coming up right around the corner, it is the Fun Fair Festival. Here to tell us more about that, it is Lindsay Bass and Brittany McAdoo. Um, good to have both of you ladies here. Thanks so much for spending a few minutes with us. Fun Fair Festival, what is it? Yeah, so the Fun Fair Festival is happening this Saturday, September 21st. Um, at the Chattanooga Green Space, so that's right next to the aquarium in front of Cold Stone Creamery. Right. From 10 to 2 p.m. All right, what's going to be involved with this, Brittany? So um, we have partnered together, Erlanger's Children's um, Safe Kids Coalition and the City of Chattanooga's Department of Early Learning just to bring this amazing event to um, our Chattanooga community all about Chattanooga basics, um, which are five basic things that you could do to keep your kids ready for school and Erlanger's Safe Kids, just making sure we're keeping our kids safe and injury free. Tell me some of the activities that will be going on at the fun fair. Yes, yeah, so some of the activities, we have a ton. This is a packed full event, um, but we have different entertainment acts throughout the whole day, kind of demonstrating those five basics. Um, we have yard games, carnival games, we have a petting zoo, mm -hmm. we have a balloon artist, um, just so many activities. <laughs> wow, sounds like a ton of fun. Yes. And what are those five basics that you were talking about? So there is to maximize love and manage stress, talk, sing, and point, count, group, and compare, explore through movement and play, and read and discuss stories. I'm gonna pick a couple of those. How do you manage stress? <laughs> so there's a couple of different ways. Um, just making sure that you're soothing your kids. Mm -hmm. um, just not always know, but just explaining why and showing them the difference. But also as parents, if we keep an organized routine, then that will limit the stress to us that we put off onto the kids as well. Is it okay to let the kids know that you're stressed about things also? Yeah, I think that's where you come in to um, create honesty and create a better relationship. And so kids can can tell when you're stressed and then that way they can identify when they are stressed as well. All right, you said reading stories and explaining ideas. Yes. Tell me a little bit more about <laughs> So I'm um, just making sure you read to your kids every day. I think Hamilton County Schools um, tell parents that too, like 20 minutes a day. So just reading, but also letting kids imagination flow, asking them about the colors and things and um, different things, pointing out characters in the book and what that looks like as well. Very cool. How do the two agencies team up to partner and present such one great event. Yeah, so we really see the power in partnering together. Um, like kind of Brittany mentioned, we have very um, similar missions and how we overlap. The basics Chattanooga is to give kids a great start in life in Children's Hospital Safe Kids Group. Um, our coalition group is just to keep kids safe and injury free. So we see the power in overlapping in being able to provide the community with more resources and more opportunities by partnering. Is this the first time you guys have done something like this? So this is our second year and we're second excited. Year. We started last year, same um, concept, um, same space. And so we had a great turnout. We had over 700 people at that event. So we were like, let's continue this. Yeah. Um, it was supportive for our community. So we were excited to do it again this year and we're looking forward to next year as well. And I'm sure you're gonna have a few more than 700 people turning up for this year. <laughs> we sure hope so. so. Have yes. you all planned accordingly for that? Yes, absolutely. Um, we know we've kind of based it off of what we went last year and we we expected around 500 last year um, so we were really surprised and, and, and eager for sure. this year but we have planned accordingly um, and this is a free event I don't think we mentioned that but it's free event for the whole community um, so we really want those families to come out and partake in this you're going to learn some wonderful lessons some valuable information for your whole family but just also have a really really fun day what was the big takeaway from for both of you from last year's event? Um, I think just seeing our community to be able to see all the resources. Mm -hmm. There are several exhibitors that will be there um, this Saturday. We have 40. Mm -hmm. So um, just to see the families be able to go to each of the exhibitors table and just learn more about the free resources that we have in our community and things that families can take advantage of um, from babies all the way up until our elderly in the community. So just excited to see people learn about resources they didn't even know were available in the community. All right, Lindsay, same question. What was the big takeaway from last year's event for you? Yeah, I think just 
like Brittany said, but also just the value and partnership and how we couldn't have done that alone. Mm -hmm. um, and just being able to pull off such a big and big and successful event together and just the support that we have for each agency mm -hmm. and just the team that we had behind us was really cool and powerful. Yeah, it sounds like a really cool and powerful event. Yes. Again, it is coming up this Saturday yes. right in front of the Tennessee Aquarium. Yes. Where do we find out more information? Yes, yeah, so you can go to Children's Hospital. Um, dot org and find out more information and then you can also tune into the city of Chattanooga as well. What a really cool thing and again as these ladies have mentioned everything is totally free. It's coming up Saturday from 10 until 2 right in front of the Tennessee Aquarium at the Chattanooga Green. It is the Fun Fair Festival. Take the family down. You'll learn something and you'll come back better for it. Stick around. We're back with more of Let's Chat after this.